Hi guys and welcome back to another video on Plannerzoid. And in today's video, I will be doing another micro happy plan with me, the video you guys all love. And this time I will be doing a spread that's like, I don't know, mermaid, I guess, inspired. I kind of wanted to do that, I guess. You know, I don't know. I have so many ideas. It's ridiculous. So bear with me, okay? Because I keep changing ideas and I just cannot figure out what I want to do. Like I can figure out what I want to do. I just don't know where to start. Also, if you haven't seen my previous upload, check it out where I do this beautiful planner spread. Check out how I put it together because there's a lot of fun elements in this spread and it could possibly give you some inspiration too. All right, let's get started. So with this spread, the paper that I'm using is going to be from this paper pad from Michaels. Wait, Joann's, I lied. This is from Joann's because it's Park Lane and that's the only place I've ever seen Park Lane. So this has gotta be from Joann's. Beautiful book. I hope I didn't flip too fast. I feel like I did, but I just wanted to kind of show you real quick. If you're just looking for, I don't know, something new, that's a nice paper pad. So I'll be using a sheet from there. So that's what this paper is. And then I have this mermaid that I cut out and I watercolored and I use this. This is really cool. Actually, I bought this a long time ago and just haven't used it. And then I saw it in a drawer and said, I need to put it to use. So that's what I did. I decided to try it on here and it was kind of fun. Yeah, it's a little, you know, smeared, but I did use Distress Ink to stamp this. So this is a stamp and I had a die cut to cut the outside of it. So that's what this is. It's not perfect, but I was experimenting and having a good time. Y'all, I could not figure out what to do with this because let me tell you. So originally I wanted to do some kind of shaker show card video and that changed, but it was still a nice card. So make sure you check out that video, still a nice card, but low key, the shaker shell is kind of hard to do. It's hard to glue it together, keep it together. So yeah, I gotta figure that stuff out. So then when I was looking through die cuts, trying to change up my idea a little bit, I saw that I had a stamp with this mermaid. And then I just started trying stuff, y'all. And over here, this was actually one of the things I was gonna try to do. So it's supposed to be like, you can open it up, I just like playing around with it, you know, you open it up and I was going to do a video on that, but I'm just not solid. I'm not comfortable on like doing a tutorial on this yet, but I want to in the future. Summer is ending, so it'll have to come a little bit later. But yeah, anyways, the reason why I'm showing all this is because this mermaid really gave me a headache. Like when I saw the mermaid, it made me have all these ideas. So I had to do a lot of trial and error and just try different things. Like I was so tired. <laughs> so ultimately I ended up wanting to use the mermaid in a planner spread, which I'm going to do today. So she's really cute. She's adorable. And the stamp, I got it at Joanne. So I don't know if it's there, but that's where I got it from. And then I'm also gonna be using a sticker book. From Happy Planner, I'm gonna be using the Boho. I've used this before in my videos. It's a pretty sticker book, actually. I really like it. I've been sleeping on it, so I'm trying to use it more often. It is for the big size, so I have to be careful because the big size is the polar opposite. It's on the other end of the size spectrum of Happy Planner. This is the smallest Happy Planner. That's the one I use, so. I have to make some of these stickers work or I can't use them at all, but usually I try to make them work. And Thinking about adding a little bit of element of Distress Ink to it, but I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. And also I have some glitter pieces that I thought were really nice. So we're gonna see, but that's what I'm gonna be using in this planner spread today. Oh, and of course some stickers that I created. I'm gonna use some of that too. And I am working on getting these in the shop. They may or may not be in the shop. By the time this video come out, we will see. But I will be adding some of that too. All right, I'm <laughs> trying to see where I want to start because this is a big old mermaid. She takes up a lot of space, but I kind of like that because that makes doing the spread a lot easier. I don't have to put in much stuff on the page because I like filling up my pages. I'm thinking first, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and start with a sticker. 
think I'm gonna use, it was between these two. Let me see. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna try using this one. Yeah, this is a nice one. I'm gonna use this here because I'm gonna need room to write stuff. So I'm gonna have to definitely use one of the bigger stickers. And then I wanted to add her here and then kind of work around her. Like I could probably put one more sticker on the page. And my bad y'all, if y'all hear any talking in the background, I don't know if he'll be picked up, but my husband is in a call. So I, I just wanted to go ahead and film now because I have some free time. So if you hear it, sorry if you don't that's good and y'all may not care but i care because i like no sound i like no sound around me when i'm doing my videos but when you live with other people and you're at home you gotta work with what you gotta work with i think i can add one more on here like her tail will be in the way but i still can add something on here i think you know what? I don't know. Let me see. Hold on. Hmm. Yeah, like right here. I think I'm going to save it for an embellishment. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and glue her on the page. And I think I'm just going to use some simple Elmer's glue. But sometimes, y'all, let me tell you, Elmer's glue really don't do the job. If you want something to really do the job, I think this is really good. But... The only thing I hate is that this is really sticky. Like, um, what is it called? Like glue gun sticky. Like when it leaves that residue, that long stretch, that long line of glue. That's the only annoying part about using this, but it's really good for crafts. I've been doing research on what kind of glue to use. And then another one I have is this one. Seems pretty good too, yeah. But when I just want to do simple glue projects like gluing this in, I'm just going to use the Elmer's because those are my good glues and I'm trying to save them and save some money and not buy it fast because I glue a lot of stuff. This is cute. Oh my God. I really had fun doing this mermaid. I really did. I done probably tried her about a good five times. I'm so over it. <laughs> but I have fun because I learned something new. Like the whole watercolor thing. I've never done that before. And I might have to do a video, you know. And actually, I do like to put a paperweight on top just in case. Because sometimes stuff like to lift up. So this is just an old little flower pot that I have from a while back. It's pretty heavy. So I think it makes a good paperweight. And I'm going to go ahead and start on this side. So this side, I want to do a little bit more. Like, I want to have boxes, but also I want to have a little more than that. And I think I'm going to stick with the purple. Kind of wanted to add this on there, but kind of liking how the purple looks. Really matches. I don't know. We're going to see. I don't know yet. Actually, you know what? I do want to add this color. I just want colors. Is that so much to ask? I just want colors on the page. Okay, we're gonna add this on there. And let's switch it up because I have a lot of boxes. So let's add a circle to layer that on there. And then I'm trying to see, should I add another box? Maybe this one. Oh, hmm. wait, I forgot, I do have, let's do another circle. <laughs> Ooh, okay, that's kind of cute actually. I can work with this. Oh, this is really cute. And then I'm gonna add like light embellishments around here. That's where the boho comes in. I might also do some layering. And now she's laying down. Now my mat moving all over the place. Okay, so. <sighs> this book has a lot of nice stickers. They're just so big. But I wanted to add like a little quote in there or something. Hmm. Ooh, y'all remember these flowers? 
Make sure you check out one of my latest uploads. I think I did it about a week ago. I did a spread with these flowers. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Y'all know what? I wanted to use these and I should have used these. Oh well. Actually, I like some of these stars. Let's use some of these. I'm liking how it's looking so far. This is cute, cute. I like the stars. This is nice. I like how it looks so far. I don't want to do too much because there's a couple of more elements that I want to add. So I'm going to put this last sticker and then I'm going to try to add some different elements to this. So next I'm gonna go ahead and add some Distress Oxide and some Distress Ink. Like I wanna kinda, I don't know, like I, I see it in my head. I don't know if it's gonna look right, but I just wanted to add a little bit in the boxes. Like just a little bit of color. Wait, what color did I get? Oh, the Shaded Lilac. Wait, ooh, hold on. I kinda see this color. Ooh, you know what? This one might be better. Let's do this one instead. I think this one's gonna be maybe a tad too dark, too pigmented. I still want it to be light enough where I can write on it. So we're gonna use milled lavender to distress oxide. And actually, I'm gonna lighten up the brush a little bit. We're gonna move to this one. I love these brushes. I actually have a video on my channel. It's an older video, but I like these. I recommend these. So I'm gonna like, you know, just something like, yeah. Okay, it's kind of coming together. You know, just a little bit of something in there. <laughs> and I'm gonna do it to all the purple boxes. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the blue ones. But the blue is gonna have a different kind of blue because the blue that matches this, too pigmented. You won't be able to see. And that's not what I want. Like, I want to be able to write and still, like, see. You know what I'm saying, though? So, this is cute. Yeah, this is kind of what I was going for. Just a little bit of color inside. A nice little fade. It's, it's really cute. So I'm going to leave it at that. I don't want to overdo it. And then I'm also going to use the tumbled glass. I'm going to use, it's like a really light blue color. And this is kind of how it looks. So you can't always trust this. It's like nail polish. <laughs> So you really have to see it on paper first. But for the most part, the Distress Oxide and inks pretty much match what show on the cover. I don't want to do too much either. So this might actually be good enough. Yeah. Kind of cute, right? It's kind of cute. And I'm actually thinking about adding a little bit of blue over here, but I already have blue right there on her tail. So. I'm gonna leave it at that. This is good. Okay, so did that. The last thing I kind of want to add, but I don't know if it's gonna work, <laughs> is these little mermaid glitters. These are so cute. These are really nice and they have different colors. So I wanted to try to use all three if I could. Don't know if I can, but I really like these. These are nice. So let's start here, like something like that, you know? And I'm like, should I glue it or what? But I think I am. I think that's the only way. So I'm gonna use this Elmer's glue again. And I'm not gonna do too much because of the material of this. It can slide around. 
So I don't wanna overdo it. I'm hoping it'll adhere well because it's sticking to paper, but just in case, let's just be careful. Actually, I kind of like her right here. I'm gonna put it right here. And then we gotta be gentle. See, I already gave her a little too much glue, but that's okay. That's all right. I don't know if it's gonna stay, but I'm gonna go ahead and put them on there and then put my paperweight and see what it does. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'll just go from there. And then this one, I think I'm gonna put over here cause I wanted one over here. Yeah, that's kind of cute, huh? Actually, I kind of like her over here too. Ah, oh, that is kind of cute. I'm gonna put one over here. I want one on the other page too. So we're gonna put one on the other page. That is too much glue. I might can kind of spread it. Yeah. And this is definitely a fun element to add because look, it's like fully. I'm gonna add this paperweight, kind of clean up my stuff a little bit. See if I wanna add some more stickers and stuff to it. So let's let this settle because I don't want those to move. Y'all, these are so cute. I didn't even see these. Uh, oh my gosh. I guess I have to save it for another spread. Okay, hopefully it had time. Y'all don't ruin the glass. This is glue too. I'll be using this thing. This is kind of heavy. It looks nice though. I like it. I think I might leave it like this because I still got to add the day of the week. I guess I could do that real quick. Yeah, I'll do that real quick. I'm going to be using this book, The Happy Planner Flower Notes and Boxes. And I'm going to add the days of the week from this book. I like this book. Um, let me make sure. I got to check the last spread. I just had to make sure <laughs> because I already messed up the numbers. So I'm trying to go back and fix that and get it together. I don't want to mess up the days, but I'm going to go ahead and add them now. I love the font that they use in this sticker book. So this is my go-to when I'm adding days of the week. Super cute. This is nice. Let's go ahead and put it in the micro now because I think this is it. Like I wanna add more to it, but sometimes less is more. So I'm gonna leave it like this. I think this is really cute and I just love the color that I added inside of the functional stickers. And y'all know what, real quick, like <laughs> I didn't even add the days of the week with the other spread. I forgot to do that. Let me do that now because I don't want to forget. So I'm going to do that. Actually, one of my favorite things is adding like the days of the week because <laughs> you can always put them in creative spots. Like I'll be having to find places to put it. Like I have to be careful because sometimes I feel like my words get mixed up in the design. And it's just so busy and sometimes I can't see it. So I try to use words with like bold lettering and stuff like that. Really helpful because I'm always doing some crazy spread. And it's looking good because the mermaids didn't fall out. But this is the spread. What do we think? I know it's smeared here, but forgive me. I'm new to the whole watercolor thing. Like maybe there's a technique and I don't know, but I still like how it came out nonetheless. Really cute, very simple, but it still is unique and stands out in its own way. Like I'm trying to finish up this month strong with the summer stuff and the sea and the water and all that because in September, it's over. We're done. Fall is going to be here soon. So I gotta get ready for that. That's my favorite season. I know I've been saying it almost every video, but y'all look so ready. 
but this is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and like this spread i'm gonna do a little montage and close-up of course and i want to thank you guys so much for watching make sure you subscribe for more content and y'all start coming to my live streams they're so fun this live stream i will be making a micro happy planner for one of my longtime subscribers for her birthday so it's really exciting you get to get some tips and ideas so please highly encourage you guys to join anyways that's it i'm gonna let you guys go and i hope y'all have a good day and stay tuned for my next videos of more fun spreads bye guys